spooked horse gets hit by taxi and collapses in New York City street. A horse in Midtown Manhattan found himself wedged under a cab after suddenly getting spooked while being ridden along a busy city street. Hmm, horses, busy city street, wonder how that could have happened. The morning of May 15th, two men were seen riding the horses up 8th Avenue near 56th Street when the brown one, Billy, suddenly freaked out. Frightened, Billy the horse ran backwards down the street, going against traffic. The horse then bucked, throwing his rider to the ground. At that moment, witnesses say a taxi van drove up behind and collided with Billy, trapping his front left leg underneath the vehicle. The men riding the horses then worked to pull Billy out from under the cab and get him back on his feet. Passerbys took photos and videos of the scene following the accident, showing the horse was able to walk out from the street, though a bit gingerly. One pedestrian said a veterinarian on site did check Billy for major injuries and claimed he was fine. The pedestrian then added he was shocked to see Billy's handlers put the saddle back on him. The men proceeded to quickly check Billy's hooves out, give him a few pats on the head, and go back on their way. Billy was formerly a horse-drawn carriage horse, but has more recently been used to provide $150 horseback rides in Central Park. Unsurprisingly, horses forced to work in New York's chaotic conditions run into these kinds of accidents every so often, which has led animal activists to work tirelessly to have the industry shut down. During his political campaign, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio said if elected, he would end horse-drawn carriages in his first week on the job. Yet more than three years later, the carriages remain, and horses still walk the highly trafficked midtown streets. For shame. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Maybe if horses weren't forced to work in unnatural settings, we'd have less horse-related accidents. Photo of dying police horse being comforted by her human patrol partner in the street goes viral. This photo captures the heartbreaking moment of a Houston police officer in her final moments, with her partner by her side to the very end. Officer Charlotte and her longtime partner, Officer Damian Harrison, were working downtown on December 3rd when the horse suddenly got spooked by traffic. When she spun around in a panic, she bucked her rider and was struck by an oncoming cement truck. She died soon after. The image of Officer Charlotte being consoled by Officer Harrison has gone viral on social media, with thousands of likes, shares, and condolences from users who've been moved by the power of the team's bond. In remembrance, the Houston Police Department posted these fun pics of Officer Charlotte, saying the six-year-old always reported for duty and did an outstanding job for the four years she did it. They say a picture says a thousand words, but this one truly only needs three. Ride or die. Horse drags woman to death after she gets caught in the stirrups. In this horrifying footage, which recently appeared online, a performer was trampled and dragged to death by her horse during a show in Krasnodar, Russia. 24-year-old expert stunt rider Anastasia Maximova slipped and fell from her horse at the beginning of her Cossack horsemanship performance. Maximova's right foot got stuck in the stirrups when she fell. Her horse panicked and kept galloping as Maximova was trampled and dragged around the arena. Fellow performers scrambled to stop the horse, while horrified attendees tried to prevent their children from witnessing Maximova being ragdolled. The horse was eventually stopped and Maximova was immediately freed. Unfortunately, she succumbed to her injuries and died before reaching the hospital. According to The Mirror, Maximova said her past performances were exhilarating and gave her the shivers. It is a feeling of freedom when you fully trust your horse, she said. Ooh, how do you say ouch in Spanish? Okay, so you bet on a horse race in southern Mexico and whoopee, your horse wins! So far so good! Now, let out a few shouts of excitement and go collect your winnings! Don't, however, do what 49-year-old Malate Velasquez did, run out on the racetrack to celebrate, because the horse that comes in first is followed by the horse that comes in second. YouTube has some strange rules about what you're allowed to see, so we can't show you the moment of impact. Head over to tomonews.net for the full bone-crushing video. But suffice it to say, getting hit by a 1,000-pound racehorse going at least 40 miles per hour is not a survivable experience. Mr. Velasquez died before he could even get to a hospital. A local police chief summed up the situation pretty well by saying, From the video footage we've seized, it seems like the whole place was one big accident waiting to happen. Mm-hmm. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Hero rescues girl from runaway horses. 
When a group of horses broke loose at a county fair in Canada on July 9th, a hero stepped up to save the day. The Tweed Agricultural Fair is the Ontario village's oldest festival. Its highlight, the horse pulling competition. 51-year-old equine enthusiast Calvin Stein was in the horse ring talking about his favorite animals and getting ready for the competition. When a team of horses suddenly broke loose from their owner. Despite the chaos, Stein courageously ran towards the horses and tried to take control. As the horses headed straight for a little girl, Stein quickly grabbed her and threw her out of the way, allowing himself to be trampled. Stein was later tended to by two female friends to make sure he was conscious and well. Stein received buckets of praise from the internet for his heroic act. Showing his appreciation, he wrote a little message to the people who helped him. Stein sustained a broken nose, multiple facial stitches, a concussion, and a broken right orbital socket. What a hero!